Hello everyone, welcome back to Trade Masters channel where we decode the toughest of stocks with the simplest technical patterns. So today we are going to analyze a large cap stock. It is a very interesting stock because it's a business intelligence uh, you know, type of uh, company and the name of the company is called as Rizzle and it's a large cap industry as well. So uh, the business, the mode of business of this particular stock is very unique. It's a uh, business intelligence. As such, these guys provide uh, ratings for uh, other companies and they also provide you know research risk as well as policy advisory so almost all of the financial institutions most of the major financial institutions take the advice of Trisil and uh, these guys are all to also into giving uh, credit ratings as well so almost um, you know, 8,000 large cap financial institutions are their partners and uh, they take the advice of Srisil as well. So it is a very unique business model that Srisil is running and uh, you know it is a market leader in the business intelligence as well. So as such it's a very good strong to hold and uh, you know, this particular kind of uh, you know business model can reach new highs for the coming new digital uh, era right so overall we are moving into a digital we are already in the digital era and coming forth everything will be digitalized and so Srisul will be playing a much more important role down the future in and into the future generations so this is one stock that could retire your children for life if you invest right now so that is how much I'm confident on Srisul for a long-term perspective all right so first we'll look at the fundamentals of the stock and later on we'll be moving into the technical chart so first things first Srisul is a mid cap sorry it's a large cap industry with a market capital of uh, 29,000 crores and uh, if you look at the book value it is at 263 rupees and the current market price is at 4025 obviously there is almost close to 10 to 15 times difference between the book value and the current market price it is not going to match because that is how much scope the business model of Srisil has so this is why I'm super excited in investing in this particular stock for a short term and even for a long term perspective as well okay so and it is also a large cap industry with a good uh, dividend paying uh, history as well and look at the ROC and ROE. So ROC and ROE is 41 and 32. Now most of the companies that is having an ROC and ROE of more than 30, it means that those particular and even the stock P ratio is also somewhere on 49. So if most of the companies are, if some of the companies are having more than uh, 30 percentage ROC, ROE as well as P ratio, it means those particular companies are market leaders in their segment so that is the ultimate truth of it take a look at uh, Kotak Bank and uh, other uh, you know uh, Nestle India and other uh, uh, you know industries as well so most of these uh, stock PE ratios would be more than 60 and more than 50 and uh, over here we have Stresel with the ROC of 41 and ROE of 33 and stock PE ratio of almost 49 so this shows that Stresel is the market leader in its particular segment as such we are investing into a market leader that is already having a dominant uh, you know portion of its uh, shares under its holding and not to mention these guys are in the number one agency in India and also most of the foreign uh, you know uh, countries uh, financial institutions as well rely on the analysis of Srisul so that is how much super confident I, I am in investing in Srisul okay so next we'll be looking at the quarterly results so this is a standalone sorry this is a standalone quarterly results of uh, Srisul and if you look over here the stock is generating consistent returns for the past 10 quarters and not to mention the you know the sales of this particular company has been increasing on a quarterly basis as well so this is one key point to note and uh, coming to the profit and loss statement for the last 10 years we look over the company generating superb returns for the last 10 years as well and not to mention uh, each time it is generating a good amount of returns it, it is paying out some of its uh, profit in the form of dividends as well to its shareholders and look at the sales in uh, December 2011 the sales was at 639 and in December 2022 the sales is almost 1444 so that's basically close to uh, you know more than twice uh, increase in the sales as well and not to mention since this is a you know business intelligence uh, development type of uh, you know uh, company more more of its uh, profits will be coming from retaining their clients so that means that once a client uh, comes into business with uh, Srisil they have to find ways to retain that client that is uh, make the client to stay for a longer period of time so that is how Srisil is making its profits and not to mention at the same time they need to pull in new clients as well that is pull in new companies new financial institutions and uh, you know make them be under their wing so that is the overall scenario of Srisil and it is doing a very good job at that as well 
and the one important thing what i need to show over here is the return on equity look at the return on equity for the for an average of last 10 years it is generating a return on equity of almost 33 percentage this means that if you invest in this particular stock and let it be in your portfolio for the next one year you would have increased by almost 33 percentage in the, within the next year and this particular stock has been compounding at an average pace of 30 to 33 percentage for the last 10 years so let's imagine if you book this particular stock somewhere in 2010 then you would have uh, had a returns of almost uh, close to 300 percentage right now 300 to 350 percentage right now so that is the potential that thrissel has with the long term investment investing viewpoint all right so that's that is why i'm super bullish in this particular stock for a long term period and that is why i made a statement that if you invest in this particular stock and leave it in your portfolio for a long time you would be well on your way to retire retire your sons even before they go get into a good job all right so next one is the balance sheet so if you look over here the company is having a debt of almost 50 crores but if you look at in detail this 50 crores is actually in the lease liability so most of the companies right now prefer to have lease liabilities because it has some impact in reducing the tax that is paying to the government so over here thrissel is having 50 crores in lease liabilities that means it's 50 crores less of tax that is paying to the government as well so this is a good uh, you know motion for reducing the tax and in turn increasing its profits and finally coming to the shareholding pattern we see some decline in the shareholding pattern that but that is not that much we see only 0.5 percentage decrease in the shareholding pattern in december 2020 the promoters are holding almost 67.1 percentage shares and as on september 2023 they are holding 66.6 percent so that's basically a 0.5 percentage decrease in the shareholding so it's not going to impact that much and that is not going to say uh, any negative thing about the management as well so i'm still i'm super bullish in this particular stock it's just a small glitch on a quarterly basis all right and look at the institutions the fis are holding almost 7.3 percentage and the di is holding almost 13.1 percentage so combined together both these guys are holding more than 20 percentage now not to mention institutions are the people who move the market now when this much of presence is in thrissel in one particular stock if the institutions are holding more than 20 percentage that means that the institutions are super bullish in this particular stock for a short term to a medium term perspective so we are in line with the big money and that is why we can make a good amount of returns if we invest now and uh, we can be settled for life if we are having this particular stock in a portfolio for the next you know let's say good 15 to 20 years and uh, furthermore an additional bonus is we can see rekar rakesh and rakesh junjanwala having this particular stock in the portfolio so uh, rakesh junjanwala after uh, after his demise, this, his particular holdings were transferred to Rekha Junjanwala. And as of now, Rekha is holding almost a 5.47% share. So a single big bull in India is holding almost 5.47% shares in Trisil. And that shows how much the big bull has valued this particular company in the long term perspective. So along with the big bull, we can also you know, invest in this particular stock and make good amount of return. So these are all facts that I'm showing over here. So the overall fact that I'm looking at from the fundamental viewpoint is it's a clear cut buy signal for Sirisil, even at the current market price. And even if the price is moving up 100 to 150 points, even on uh, tomorrow opening market, then still it is going to be a good price to buy for a long term perspective. So from the fundamental perspective, it looks like a really good buy and I'm super bullish in this particular stock. All right, now moving on to the technical chart. This is the daily time frame that I'm showing over here. And if you look over here, the previous resistance was seen at this point. So this was a previous line of resistance. And uh, this resistance got broken over here. And now it is going to act as a strong level of support. So this support zone, I'm marking it in blue. And if you look over here, once the support is, sorry, once the resistance is broken, the stock went into a sideways market and it is finally giving some good up move, right? But this is this is on the support and resistance basis. So it's a clear cut breakout on the support and resistance. The resistance is broken out, and right now it is uh, trading in a sideways market, keeping uh, somewhere around 3,800 as a strong level of support base, and it is bouncing back from there. But if you look at the actual technical pattern that is formed, I see a kind of a I see kind of a parallel channel pattern that is formed over here. So this is a parallel channel pattern that I uh, see in uh, Strisil and it has been moving within this parallel channel pattern for uh, quite some time. And if you draw a pole like this, then it becomes a flag pattern. So this is a flag pattern that I see in Strisil and uh, we already have a clear cut breakout in the flag pattern as well. So it, on uh, Monday, that is uh, 
uh, yesterday we see a good amount of uh, breakdown in the stressel that is because nifty was cracking down and almost uh, 80 percentage of the stocks came down because of the selling pressure in nifty but right now i see nifty as a at a very good point of support zone and i believe stressel also has a good amount of uh, potential to uh, you know move up in the coming few days all right so coming to my enterprise my enterprise is going to be buy and dip still 3050 or 3900 as well so depending upon your average buying price you can invest as much you want so tomorrow morning as soon as the market opens no matter at uh, what price it is trading i'll be investing almost uh, 30 or 40 percentage at whatever price it opens up and i'll be keep on adding it and dip still 3950 that is going to be my best buying zone all right so coming to the targets My first target is going to be 4400 so this is going to be my first target and uh, let me shrink the chart and my second target is going to be 4800 so these are the two targets what I'm freezing for Strizzle and I believe all both of these targets can be done anywhere within the period of five months so just within a period of five months and I'm expecting a returns of almost 800 to 900 points in this single stock itself all right so let's have a look at the returns so from the best buying zone of 3950 i'm looking at a returns of almost close to 22 percentage just within a short span of five months so this is a very good stock and if you're uh, planning to hold it for a short term period 22 percentage is going to be the returns and if you're planning to hold it for a longer period of time and reinvest whatever dividends is uh, being uh, you know given by this particular stock then i believe this particular stock can reach 15000 even 20000 as well down in the uh, let's say 10 to 15 years time period so it's a it's a wonderful stock to hold and because of its business model and because of its uh, market leadership in the global scenario it's a number one leading agency stock credit rating stock as well so i am super bullish in this particular stock all right so coming to the stop loss this is going to be my entry price and uh, stop loss i'm going to keep somewhere around uh, 3000 this is going to be my target so stop loss i'm going to keep somewhere around 3500 so this is going to be my stop loss and this is going to be my target so i'm looking at a risk road of 1 is to 2 so for risk of 1 point my reward is going to be 2 points and that basically going to be a stop loss of almost 400 points for a target of almost 900 points all right so depend this stop loss can change depending upon your average buying price so in case if the stock is coming down once again to 3800 your stop loss is going to you know decrease all the way down to 300 points and your target is going to be almost 1000 points so that's going to give you a risk of 1 is to 3.2 so dip, it's a wonderful stock and uh, even if the stock comes down below 3950 don't hesitate just add it in your portfolio and leave it in your portfolio for a longer period of time and i'm almost 95 percentage sure that this particular stock can you know be a good wealth changer in your portfolio for the years to come all right so yeah that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on stressful i hope this video was useful and i hope you learned some informative things from this video and if you like my analysis please to click on the like button and if you want to support our channel please to consider subscribing to our channel as well i'll see you guys in the next video till then it's bye from chris take care bye bye and thank you for watching